What is going on everybody? This is 13 with Superior Mobile by 13 and today we're going to be going over a complete vehicle disassembly and sound deadening process for this 2020 Hyundai Kona EV. I'm going to be doing this video a little bit differently than normal. I'm just going to kind of do a voiceover while I go over the process. Um, and it is officially underway. What you just saw was the kind of looking over the vehicle so you know what it looks like. And now I've pulled the back seat. There are some hidden screws there that I never put back. The back section came out super easy. The back seats also come out fairly easy just with uh, one bolt on that center stack hinge. Then you pull out those rear panels. The passenger side rear quarter panel you can't tell in a super sped up video like this but i actually cracked when i pulled it um there is a very very strong clip on there so just be aware that you know hyundai's are hyundai's they're thin plastic panels they are made for assembly not for disassembly and service so you got to be careful and take your time on disassembly uh, I had never taken apart this car when I undertook this project, so you're actually kind of watching me learn how to take it apart as I'm doing it. The center console is standard, center stack pops up and out, there's some hidden screws, remove all that. B pillars on these, uh, I will say this, one thing is that gasket, the weather stripping gasket around the doors pretty much has to come out for any of those panels to come out. The carpet is super thin, which you pretty much expect out of carpet nowadays. Really basically just like a thin piece of plastic with some, f I don't even want to call it fur. It's just real thin. Uh, so that came out. The headliner is what I'm dropping right now. I think it was kind of funny that I actually forgot to unplug the mirror uh, before I dropped that, but you know, I figured it out. Now we're looking at all the bare exposed metal, which is what you can see. So cars are made obviously as light and thin and cost effectively as possible, which is super great uh, for the majority of people out there. But personally, I think electric cars in particular are there's a higher expectation for them to be very quiet. And this type of approach with thin sheet metal does not yield to a very quiet interior. So what I'm doing is applying, this is Stinger Roadkill Ultimate. Actually, excuse me, I forget, uh, that is Stinger Roadkill. And later on, I'll use some Ultimate. Ultimate has a foam backed. This is just butyl. Uh, in a sheet form which is sticky and then it's got black aluminum on one side uh, there are a lot of different manufacturers of sound deadening products of varying degrees of thickness of stickiness of colors of all sorts of different materials and all sorts of stuff a lot of them are sold widely over the internet with all sorts of ridiculous little claims about what it can do. And there's a lot of misinformation regarding noise treatment on the internet, so I don't necessarily buy into so much of that. Uh, there's also a lot of brands that are sold uh, quite restrictively as in dealer-only options. Uh, I use what I use because it is locally available, so I can pick it up from Amp of America, which is the distributor, since this is a Stinger product. And I really like the idea that I'm having less of a carbon footprint by buying something locally available. That's important to me, since, in my opinion, most of these products do the same thing. Um, just, you know, some of them do a way better job of it. So this one I have found is a really great, reliable product that I have used for many, many, many years and have not had any failures over time. What I really like about this video is that you get to see the insane amount of time that it takes. Vehicle disassembly and reassembly makes up a really small portion of the labor ticket for a full vehicle sound ending job. When I get these sheets, they come in four square feet. I cut them into thirds. So what you're seeing me apply here, these rectangles, that's actually a third of a sheet. And uh, basically I'll kind of size it up, usually cut it into place if I need to, whatever. I roll one direction with one hand, the opposite direction with that same hand, and then I use my left hand and I do the whole process again. 
Uh, application is, I'd say, probably more important than the product itself. This product does not require cleaning the surface prior to application. However, if it's a dirtier car, then I tend to at least vacuum the interior before I apply it, make sure there's nothing oily or dirty or greasy or something that would prevent long-term adhesion. But this being only a two-year-old vehicle, the interior was totally clean. Um, you also see that I have changed outfits several times during this video. Normally, I can do a full sound deadening job on a vehicle. You might usually build about six hours or so, give or take, depending on the size of the vehicle and other variables, whether or not it's like a European car or something like that. Then that adds time. Um, but on this, since there was no rush to get it finished, I think I completed this job over the span of three days. So there were quite a bit of weather cycles associated with that time period. Normally, since it is rather labor intensive, it's hot work, especially inside the car. So I will tend to be shirtless, but I know there was a point somewhere in there where I worked first thing in the morning and I had to wear a hoodie. Um, this, unfortunately, the car, I'm sorry, the uh, camera battery died a couple times during recording. So you missed the first application of the top two strips in that headliner, but full headliner job done. And then here what I'm doing is I am punching a huge bag of polyfill into that rear quarter panel area and then keeping it tucked in there with some sound deadener. So that polyfill is going to help prevent kind of like resonances and echoes, if you will. That's just a big air chamber in those rear quarter panels. So I didn't want to leave them completely alone. And so now you are seeing the full interior fully deadened. Again, this is all Stinger Roadkill and it's a uh, very effective this is the stealth stuff which is i think what makes it black instead of like silver i just like the fact that it's black over silver because if for some reason you manage to peek between some materials and see it it doesn't stand out so obviously so putting the carpet back in putting the headliner back in What's great about this vehicle is this could all very easily be done with one person. Lots of times you need two people to drop a headliner, or certainly two people should be used if you got a sunroof that you got to drop out. Um, let's see, also, I know the total number of sheets used. I did track that. And for people who like to be haters and say, oh, you just added all that weight to your car. I tracked that and I added exactly 40 and a half pounds with this phase of treatment. And the difference in the road noise that comes into this vehicle is completely night and day. So if you're that worried about weight, then you could easily take things out of your car to gain you 40 pounds. But I am more interested in the convenience of comfort. And that comes from getting rid of droning sounds that are very icky and they lead to driving fatigue. So we're almost done with the video here, so I'm gonna start by saying thank you so much for watching. This is 13 with Superior Mobile by 13, and this is going to be my future car. So um, this was a labor of love and fully reassembled. Everything is good to go, except, like I said, a much quieter interior. So this is a service I do a lot of and I rarely document. So this one I made sure that I got the whole process. And that's, that's pretty much it. Um, pretty stoked. And now you get to see how stoked I am. Okay, I'll talk to you later. See ya!